Hey, I'm Jake from svslearn.com, and today we are drawing some characters. Going to teach you how to do some character design using reference and not using reference, using your imagination. Let's get into it. I found a cool photo. It's a striking pose, and I think it's going to be good reference for the character design that I want to do. But I want to show you how to build this thing from the ground up in a way that you can apply to any other drawing that you want to create. So the first things first is you just want to do a quick gesture drawing. What you do is you'll draw a ball for the head and then a single line that represents the spine, torso area, and then the key limbs that are being the sort of the motivation for the, for the entire pose. We've got this planted leg right here. We've got this other outstretched leg coming over here. And we've got this bent pose, bent at the hips with this torso leaning back like that. And once I got that, and the energy is nice. I'm gonna come in here, I'm gonna add arms coming out like that. And I'm not quite sure where these arms should attach here. So what we're going to do is we're going to throw in the hips. And you can see like this hip is going up like that. And these shoulders are going down like that. So we're going to add those here as reference points. So we're going to have these two lines cross like that. And that gives us a little bit of understanding of how the torso is twisting in space just a bit. Now we can add triangles down here for, for the feet. Another triangle down here for this foot too. All right, and this is a pretty solid gesture drawing. So if you're working traditionally, you'll rub it down with your eraser, lighten it up. But if you're working digitally, you could just kind of lighten it up, add a new layer. And now what we're gonna do is figure out the, the volume and the shapes of what this character design is made up of, okay? So obviously, the, the head, what we're gonna do is work with blocky rectangular box shapes first, because that's gonna help us understand the planes. So we're gonna start with the head here, and it's probably kind of tilted like that. And then we've got our torso, which is probably kind of sitting like this in space. This is why it's so important to learn how to draw boxes in, in 3D space, because this is the basis for just about everything that you're gonna be working with. I don't like quite where I put that, so I'm gonna I'm gonna move it a little bit, just like that. And then we've got our hips, which are most likely gonna be a little bit down here like this. So we really got this bend happening here. And this feels good. I could definitely build off of these shapes, and I'm understanding a little bit better of where this figure is is existing in three-dimensional space. Okay, so once we build that, now we can go out and start building the limbs off of that. So usually you'll, you'll come in here, you'll do spheres for the shoulders, spheres for the hips as well, and they just exist inside these the boxy shapes that you put in there. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to, you're gonna add little cylinders that represent like the legs, the forearms, the arms, all the different shapes there, and have them taper down. This just helps you understand where these shapes exist three-dimensionally in space. Now, a lot of times, professional artists, people have doing this for a while, they can envision this in their mind. They don't have to draw this out, but sometimes it's really helpful to do it as well. I like to put a little, line across there just to give it a little bit of uh, dimension. So now we've got that, we can go on to the next stage. And that's where you shy away from these boxy, basic shapes that, that show volume. And you're going to go in and start adding a little bit more of uh, organic shapes over the top of this. And it helps to have a good understanding of anatomy to know what you're doing here. Let me put on a new layer. Okay, we're going to make this head round. We're going to add a jawline that comes up there, and probably an ear right here, and the neck coming like that. Now the uh, torso is made up of a rib cage. We're going to make this a little bit rounder. So we're just going to go in here and make all this feel a little bit more organic. We're going to add a little bit more flesh up here to the chest. You'd be surprised at how much you can understand, you know, you just understand from naturally looking at bodies and understanding your own body shape, how much this can apply to what you're drawing here, you know, what your gut is telling you, how things should look. I'm not quite sure what I'm gonna do with these hands yet, so we're not gonna flesh out the hands too much, but we can come in here and figure out this pelvis area. We have that hip really jutting out there a little bit like that, and then have these thigh muscles, knees, coming down here, calf muscles sticking out there. You always want your straights and your curves to be opposite of each other. You know, straight on this side, curvier on that side. Straight on this side, curvier on that side. A nice little thing that I learned from animation that, that helps. Do the knees and the calves here. 
Now that you've got this, we're gonna go off over the top of this and start adding clothing. I'm thinking it'd be cool to make this like a sci-fi space girl type of thing. Maybe give her like a, some sort of space tool, like maybe she's a space miner, she mines asteroids or something like that. So she's gonna have gear, she's gonna have a space suit on. But now that we've got the pose in place, we can go in and add whatever we want to it to really make it feel like it's a space miner. So I'm just gonna space miner. All right, so let's go in here. Probably gonna be some sort of uh, collar, some wrinkles and stuff around that, elbow pad or something like that. She's gonna be wearing a harness of some kind, probably a life support system on her back. Wrap around this way. And again, since we understand the, the basic shapes here, we're gonna know how to fit this, this stuff on the existing shapes they already have. Some shape to the wrist and she probably has bulky gloves on so we can make these fingers look a little bit thicker. We'll have a belt and there's gonna be a pouch of some kind. All right, so she is going to be holding her mining equipment. We're gonna say it's some sort of drill that she's got or a jackhammer. It's got another handle right there. And then let's give her like, um, a face guard, you know, a little visor thing that's up. Her radio connections, communications, all stuff like that. We're gonna try and make a nice peeling face. So the nose comes up like that. The smile, she's confident. Brows are furrowed, something like that. I think that's good. Now we can go in and just start adding a finished black line to it. I'm gonna change my pen here and add in all the, the detail. When you're adding detail like this, this is really handy to have a library of shapes and images in your head that are just already there that you just pull from. We're gonna make that nose a little bit higher. detail up here okay and then one other thing we can do here is I like to just go in and pick a cool color now we could go in here and just delete the outside of this get a nice good silhouette going here got ourselves a cool little space miner character here. All right, illustration has to be fun first, but we all wanna improve. So there's gotta be things that you have to learn, things you need to work on. And what we wanna do is help you understand what those boundaries are so that you can go out and push those boundaries as far as possible in the work that you're creating. We're building a brand new home for the SVS community that's gonna help our artists do this kind of stuff, to learn from each other, to learn directly from professional illustrators so that everybody can continue learning and progressing together in an environment that is not just challenging but also uplifting. When you join our membership you're going to get access to industry-leading course material. You're going to be able to join in directly in our monthly drawing events and you're also going to be able to watch exclusive content that you're not going to find anywhere else. Details on how you can join our SVS community are in the link below. Now we're going to use the same principles and she needs a sidekick obviously. Maybe she needs a sidekick who's kind of goofy, another alien that's from another planet. We're going to make a, a little character that is her best friend so we have this character kind of hunched over a little bit, okay? So this is our gesture, super loose and scratchy, but now we're gonna go in and we're gonna figure out the shapes for this character. So, boxes. Hold on. Oh, I thought the dog wanted to go out, but he doesn't. He's just gonna lay there for a little bit. Maybe this character's been doing this mining for a long time. And what are they carrying on their shoulder? They've got like a big old hammer. Now that we've got that going on, we can go in and start adding the more organic stuff. I'm gonna change my pencil color here just a little bit so we could see it better from the other stuff. We're gonna give this guy maybe one big eye. <laughs> He's got a face shield that will go over that one eye. 
Definitely, this is a character who has three fingers, kind of like Ninja Turtle. All right, that looks a little bit better to me. And now we can go in and start doing our line work on this character. All right, and then let's do our same thing here where we make this guy this color. And now we can just go right in and erase around the edges here. All right, there we go. We're gonna turn off anything that's a sketchy layer and just keep our two character designs. And there we have our space miners.